it's Carly. I just got back from school. Right now I'm cooking some Raymond Ramen, I don't know how you guys pronounce it, noodles. And every single day so far this week, I have came home with my phone either dead or less than 20 or 10%. Right now it's at 12 because I'm charging it. But I forgot to turn my phone off at school like all the other days, so it just drained battery from like turning on and off from like notifications and stuff like that. So then my phone died on the bus, which was the first time it died, but like the other times it was just at a really low percentage. And yeah, so today is the football game, which is why I'm wearing this shirt. And right now my ramen noodles, Raymond, whatever, noodles are done. <clears throat> so I'm going to get those, get my mom, we're going to finish our episode of Big Brother that we never started. And then, um, after all that's done, I already visited my cats, so I don't really need to do that again, but I will before I leave. I love my cats. I actually wrote about my cats in English class today. For some reason, there's been something in my eye all day, and I don't know what it is, and I can't get it out. And, yeah, so then my mom is going to take me to Joelle's house, which you guys probably know her. And Lily is going to be there. And then we're going to go to the game together. And actually, um, Courtney might go there. I'm not sure yet because she could not come home with me for some reason because she didn't have all her stuff. Plus, her mom said something to her that she didn't really know. So, she doesn't know if she can go or not. But she probably most likely can, and she's going to go to Joelle's house with us if possible. So that's why I planned out to go to Joelle's house, because in the first place, I was going to just go with Courtney, and she was going to come home with me. But if Courtney, like, can't go, then I got to make other plans, because I can't show up by myself. I was talking to Pippa. Oh, my God. What the, What was that? What are you trying to say? Pippa, what? What do you want? What? She talked. Did you just see that wink? Hi guys, how's it going? So I just have to share because I'm so proud of myself. I hung this mirror up above our bed all by myself and it is not light. I measured it out. I have my own little way of doing this, which I'll tell you guys in a second, but Ken was in here. He was gonna help me, but then he was giving me a hard time on how I was doing it, telling me I needed the level and all this different stuff. And I'm like, I have my own way of hanging things. And so far, so good, so don't miss. So now I'm actually questioning myself a little bit because Ken came in here and looked at it and he was like, good job on hanging it and it's level but aren't you supposed to hang mirrors in places where you can use it as a mirror? And obviously, with it being this high, you cannot use it as a mirror. So now I'm kind of questioning myself, second guessing myself, wondering if I like it there or not. And I put some pretty big anchor bolts in the wall. <laughs> but now I'm thinking, you guys remember this picture that I bought at Pier 1. Maybe this would have looked cute over my bed instead. It's a lot smaller though. I wanted something that was like really wide. I don't know, don't people hang mirrors over beds or like fireplaces and stuff just to kind of like for decoration and make the room look bigger? Or am I completely crazy and this mirror should come off the wall? So you guys comment down below and give me your opinion. But I will tell you how I hang things though in case you need a trick or a different way. Of course you can measure and all that, which I do. So the first thing I do is I flip it over, like I laid it flat on my bed and I took a piece of clear tape, kind of like the kind of clear tape that you would use if you were gonna be like taping up a box that you packed. And I put it over top of like whatever kind of hooks are on the back. So in this case, there was one on each side about a foot down from the top. So I put the piece of tape across and then I use permanent marker and I write on the piece of tape like two little lines where the screws need to go. So then I put it on the wall and I try to just make it as level as I can by eyeballing it. Then to make sure it's level, I measure from like the floor on up. In like this case, it was 83 inches from the floor. So I measured, mark 83 inches on both the left and the right and then wherever those two lines cross or intersect, that's where my screw hole's gonna go in. 
And then I also, you could measure from the ceiling and down, but in this case, instead of measuring from the ceiling, I measured from the top of my bed into where the screw went. Like from here to about right there is where the screw is. To kind of just have like a second measurement. So that's how I hang things. And I've hung several things on the walls, um, pictures in my office. Uh, I kind of, when I hang curtains, I don't do it that way. I kind of just measure, usually off the woodwork or whatever. But that's how I hang stuff. I don't know if that's the right way. I don't know if you're supposed to just, I feel like if you measure the back of like a frame or whatever you're hanging, it might not be as accurate. Like you could say, oh, it's 50 inches across. But what if you're off even like a quarter of an inch? You're gonna end up putting that screw in the wrong place. Or if you have the piece of tape, it's like guaranteed to be perfect, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go upstairs and check to see if Carly's ready to leave. I'm supposed to be taking her to her friend's house. She wanted to go there after school, but I told her to come home and eat something first, grab a sweatshirt. It's probably gonna be chilly tonight, so. Carly, go. Are you ready? You're just flat ironing your hair again? I did. Why? Because it wasn't straight. What does it get curly as you're walking down the hall? <laughs> I'm not smiling with any teeth from my school pictures. Why? What? Yep. Why would you say that? Because I don't want my smile. So not using my teeth. That's not very nice. Your smile looks pretty. Yeah. Your hair is so long again already. So your bathroom looks pretty clean, but your bed's kind of messy. Why are these clothes on the ground? Why don't you come pick them up? I was going to wear those today, but I changed my mind. Well, then come clean so them up. I'll wear them tomorrow. Why do you have her up on your bed? I don't know. She's so hairy. She, we need to get them groomed again. Shave all her hair off. You're going to do it? Yeah, right. You don't even know how to shave. Yes, oh, how would you know how to shave? Yes, no, don't leave. Hey, Chase. What are you doing? Oh, you need to take a shower. You had wrestling practice. So how would you know how to shave? Because Cause why? You've never shaved a dog before. I yeah I have. Well you haven't. When? Um me. What? Yep, I'm a dog. Whatever. But you shave your armpits? Nope. What do you shave? Legs. No, you Get don't. Your why are you lying? I asked you like a month ago if you shaved your legs and you said no. Are you kidding me? When? I don't know. You don't even have a razor. Yeah, I do. Where? My bathroom. Let me see it. Right. Let me see it. Can I shave with it? No. You can't shave dogs with a real razor. Why not? Where did you get this from? Yeah. Ready? Where did you have it for? Oh, who showed you how to do it? Nobody. One of your friends? You just got to be let me see. Show no, me. I don't want to How far up did you shave? My legs. All the way to the top? Yeah, aren't you supposed to? You don't have to. Your hair's so blonde. Just shave to your knee. That's I'm it. Going to well, once you do it, you can't stop. Now your legs are going to be prickly. Papa. When's the last time you did it? I don't know. How many times have you? How many times have you done it? Only once? Yep. Feel. I bet your legs are prickly. I bet you they are. Where? So I can't believe you didn't ask for help. What if you would have Ow. cut your leg off? You can't. You can cut yourself. Yeah. I've cut myself many times. <laughs> I haven't. And sometimes it bleeds for a long time. Yeah. That's crazy. Actually, do you know how old I was the first time I shaved Probably my like legs? 17. 13 years old. It, this was crazy. I remember I was sick. I wonder if my mom remembers the story. So I was sick and yeah. I took a bath. And I was in the bathtub for the longest time because, I don't know, I had a fever or just was 32 years felt ago. sick or something. Brian, that don't 32 know. years ago. Woohoo. Anyway, so I was sick. I was in the bathtub and for the longest time. And I 
I had a fever or something, so I was just soaking in the tub, and all of a sudden I was like, I should probably shave my legs. And I remember doing it, and then my mom was like, why would you do that? Now you have to keep shaving your legs because once you do it, you can't stop or because it just never feels the same. Like, you know how like even your arm hair is like really soft? If you shave your arm hair, when it grows back, it's going to be prickly. So one of those things, now that you've done it, you can't ever stop. So... It's not an addiction. <laughs> no, because did you ever hear the saying where people, where girls will just let their um, hair leg grow long in the winter because they don't wear shorts? So it's like, why shave your legs? No one's going to see them. But you're a dancer, so people see your legs all the time. You have a hole in your sack. <laughs> what shoes are you going to wear? Slides. With a hole? Yeah, it, this, it covers Put the some body. different no. socks on. <laughs> What's that, air conditioning? Yep. So Carly just got something in the mail that I ordered off Etsy for I her. I it to be my retainer. Your what? Mm -hmm. Oh, your aligners. They're making them. They should be in at any time. Oh, I got to show you the 3D model, though, of your... Is it cool? Yeah, it's really cool. They show what it's going to do to your teeth in four months. They'll be fixed, it says. This is quite big. No, it's not. Because it's, it's adjustable. It stays on by a and then you pull it as tight as you want. I would pull your hair out of it first. Alright, so here's the necklace, and I'm not going to wear it today because I don't want to lose it or break it. And it kind of does not look good with this outfit. So I'm not going to wear it today. But here's what it looks like, and I really like it. So you can barely see it, but you right can't now. See it? No, you Zoom can. in, it's I, I ginormous. Am. So that big light, like right there, <laughs> that top light, that is the moon. It's Can't you zoom huge. in? Yeah, but it's like not zoom in. focusing. Because I'm trying to fix it. Okay, it disappeared, so. It's behind trees, hold on. Pretty sure the world's ending. No, we're turning into werewolves today. Oh, there it is. Oh, can you see it? Oh, here it is again. Yeah. Okay, so we, oh gosh, you can barely see. How can you barely see? It's ginormous. No. Oh my god. The, like on the camera. Well, so that's because you're looking at yourself. There's no moon on your face. Oh my gosh. So we just got food and we picked up Lily. And what happened? Where is she? She's in the dark. Can you see her now? Yeah. Oh. We lost. We lost the game. All because of Lily. <laughs> Blake actually had a very good game. He did his job very nicely. Oh, there's like a weird flare. What's that? Is he the, like, that's like flare dad? Where? Look, on the camera. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hi, my name's Angela and thanks for watching Our Family Nest. Make sure to like and subscribe down below and leave a comment and answer the question of the day, which will be, what is your favorite after school snack? Thanks for watching. Bye.